Have you ever discovered that a friend, family member, or even a neighbor is worth millions of dollars, yet they never look the part? They might drive an average car, wear simple clothing, and live in a modest home, making them seem like they're not wealthy at all. In fact, they might even appear to be struggling financially. This phenomenon, often referred to as stealth wealth, is more common than you might think. These individuals prioritize financial security and smart investments over flashy displays of wealth, lending in seamlessly with those around them. By blending in, they maintain financial security and avoid the pitfalls of flaunting wealth, allowing them to focus on long-term goals and personal fulfillment without attracting undue attention. So how are these individuals spending their money if they're so wealthy? In this video, you might be surprised to see how millionaires allocate their finances and what proportion of their income goes to things like cars and homes. If the average person adopted some of these spending patterns, they too could become wealthy someday. Welcome to Blue Chip Mindset, the winning mindset for success. If you enjoy the video or learn something new, please give it a like and nothing I say is financial advice. Over the course of five years, Thomas Corley, the author of Rich Habits, Poor Habits, studied wealthy individuals. He sampled over 200 millionaires and examined their occupations, character attributes, and financial habits. They all had net liquid assets of at least $3.2 million, which included cash, bank deposits, and investments like stocks that could quickly be converted into cash. They also made at least $160,000 in gross income each year. According to Corley, there are typically four distinct categories of millionaires. The first is the big company climber. This person works for a large company and invests all their time and effort into developing their professional network until they land a high-income executive job. Their dedication to building relationships and continuously improving their skills sets them apart, eventually leading to substantial career advancement and financial success. The second is the virtuosos. These folks are among the best at what they do and are compensated well for their skill and knowledge. Formal education is a fundamental requirement for these individuals, often including higher degrees, frequently in law or medicine. Their expertise and advanced education set them apart, ensuring they are highly valued and well-paid in their respective fields. The third is the dreamer entrepreneur. This term describes those who pursue their aspirations, such as starting their own company or becoming an author, singer, or actor. Dreamers work with passion and love and their efforts are rewarded with money. Their potential income is unrestricted because they're self-employed and distinct from other employees. The fourth is the saver investor. This person prioritizes saving and investing consistently and always seeks clever ways to increase their wealth, regardless of their day job, income level, credentials, or opportunities. They show that becoming a millionaire is possible for anyone, making them the most relatable to the average person. When we think of millionaires, we typically imagine high-ranking executives at Fortune 500 companies or someone with a groundbreaking idea that led to a hugely successful business. However, most millionaires in the Saber Investor Group achieve their wealth by simply being ordinary people. You don't need to be a genius, earn advanced degrees, or work unreasonable hours to become a Saber Investor. There are no special requirements, just a commitment to intelligent saving and investing. They invest their money in tried-and-true investments with a track record of growth rather than taking significant risks. According to Corley, you should maintain your spending at 80% or less of your net pay to become a millionaire by belonging to the saver investor category. He discovered that investors who invest religiously aim to save at least 20% or more of their income. Adopting a thrifty mindset and prioritizing investments is the most common approach the wealthy use to become millionaires. But how do these investors and savers manage to spend wisely and avoid impulsive purchases? Let's break them down now. Housing should occupy 25% or less of your take-home earnings. The biggest expense for the majority of people is their home. This might be the case because people frequently purchase more home than they can afford, making their mortgages or rent unaffordable. They don't want to give up anything or live with roommates. As a result, they end up using most of their income to pay for a roof over their heads. Millionaires who invest wisely and conserve money do not overspend on this. Their housing expenses are kept at 25% or less of their monthly net salary. When you're happy with a tiny apartment or home, it can significantly lower your rent or mortgage as well as utilities and other expenses that come with living in a bigger place. Also, being willing to compromise on location is helpful in this case. They know the value of being economical when it comes to housing and understand that settling for something less than ideal would pay off rather than insisting on living in a desirable area of the city. Overspending in this area makes aggressive saving and investing practically impossible. 15% or less of your net pay should go toward food and other essentials. This includes household food, personal care services, and other minor necessities that are often non-negotiable. By keeping these expenses in check, you can free up more of your income for savings and investments. Additionally, finding ways to reduce costs on essentials like meal planning or using coupons 
can further increase your financial flexibility. Being mindful of these small but consistent expenses can significantly impact your financial health and help you reach your long-term goals more quickly. Automobiles should account for 5% or less of your net pay. Despite transportation being the second highest expense for the average household after housing, most people spend well over this recommended percentage. This 5% should cover gasoline, insurance, tolls, parking, registration, and monthly auto payments. Even though millionaires occasionally drive high-end vehicles, they typically do not allocate a significant portion of their wealth to them. Interestingly, the top three car brands driven by millionaires are not the expensive luxury vehicles you might expect, such as Mercedes, BMW, or Cadillac. In fact, none of these brands even make it into the top five. The top three car brands preferred by millionaires are in order. Toyota, Honda, and Ford. Millionaires also don't spend more than 5% of their net pay on clothing, extravagant jewelry, or high-end name brand clothes. Yes, some incredibly wealthy people purchase expensive clothes and accessories, but not the average millionaire. Most of them dress in off-brand apparel, preferring practicality and value over luxury. When planning vacations, it's advisable to limit spending to no more than 5% of one's net income. However, middle-class families often allocate substantial money for their annual family vacations. Whether they opt for a luxurious tropical cruise or a visit to Disney World, these options are costly for the average household. Interestingly, even though millionaires only spend 5% of their net income on vacations, they still enjoy their fair share of travel and leisure. On average, millionaires take three vacations annually, carefully budgeting to ensure they get the most value without overspending. This approach allows them to enjoy life while maintaining their financial goals. Entertainment should be at most 10% of net pay. This includes bars, restaurants, streaming services, music, and movies. While these expenditures can contribute to a lavish lifestyle, the pleasure derived from them is often fleeting and not particularly memorable. Limiting entertainment expenses ensures that more of your income can be directed toward long-term financial goals and investments. By being mindful of how much is spent on temporary pleasures, it's possible to enjoy a balanced lifestyle without jeopardizing financial stability. Millionaires exercise caution to avoid excessive spending in the areas we discussed. They recognize that indulging excessively in these aspects could hinder their ability to build and preserve wealth. They are open to compromise, particularly regarding housing choices, ensuring they do not acquire more space than necessary, thereby maintaining conservative housing expenses. And they exercise caution regarding mobility and avoid wasting money by purchasing more expensive automobiles than they require. Apart from all these, you need to maintain an emergency fund. Millionaires always have an emergency fund for their contingencies. An emergency fund is a collection of cash you can use immediately to cover unforeseen costs. According to most financial gurus, you should keep three to six months worth of living expenses aside in case of emergencies. However, the amount you decide to save will depend on your income and degree of comfort. Where you save is more crucial than how much you save. Your emergency fund should be stored in an easily accessible savings account, one that isn't subject to the stock market's ups and downs but still earns the maximum rate of return. Doing this ensures that your financial safety net is always within reach, providing peace of mind and stability during uncertain times. Remember, the key to financial success isn't just accumulating wealth, but also protecting it wisely. By adopting these habits and cultivating a blue-chip mindset, we can chart our course towards financial success. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications.